Hey what's going on guys in this video we are going to see an example of go to statement here what we are going to do is we are going to get an input number from the user whatever the number user entering we are going to add them together and print it print out the sum of the those numbers for example if the user say 1 2 3 4 we are going to add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 it's going to be like 4 plus 3 is 7 7 plus 2 is 9 9 plus 1 is 10 so it's going to print out 10 as the sum okay this is the one we are going to do using go to statement now let's go ahead and begin first i'm going to introduce some integer type of variable integer i'm introducing n and also sum i initialize this one with zero and also another integer variable that's r and also we are going to give a prompt to the user to enter the number so backslash n enter the number enter the number and to get the input from the user we had to put a scan of statement scan of statement in this scan of statement since the user is entering a integer type of variable we had to put a percentage d and we have initialized that one also with percentage d we are going to store that one in n okay the next thing is now now we have to create the math operation for the addition okay now here i'm putting an s this is important because we are going to use the go to statement to go to this s and repeat again and again and again and also we have to give a if statement to stop otherwise it doesn't stop right so we are going to also give an if statement stop right stop this one now let's see how to do that first i'm doing the math operation for the addition of all these things so first we have to put n reminder 10 so if you, when you divide n by 10 whatever the reminder is going to be stored in r and also we are going to divide n is equal to n by 10 n by 10 and then i am creating a sum equation sum is equal to sum plus r sum plus r okay now we are going to give an if statement to stop this one because now first we are going to let's see this one first i am going to give a go to statement go to s so when i give the go to statement get, go to statement what's going to happen is it's going to go to this s and start this process again and again and again it doesn't stop so to stop this one we put an if statement right here in this if statement i put n is not equal to zero so when the n is not equal to zero this is going to be entering this one okay and let's close this one and also finally i'm going to give a printf statement printf in this one we are going to print out the sum backslash n sum sum is equal to percentage d and we have to print out whatever the value stored in sum okay now that's it now let's go ahead and run this one Okay, let's run this one enter the number let's say one two three it should give us seven oh six actually <laughs> i'm sorry because one plus two is three three plus three is six and also you can type whatever the num number you want look you can write a no long number it's going to just add them together and give it out and that's how it uh, it works i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching and if you are trying to learn c or c plus plus programming there are a bunch of videos in my playlist I hope you guys watched that too and don't forget to subscribe and also if you are trying to access these codes it's in my blogger I put the link of my blogger in the description so you can go ahead and use them. Thanks for watching see you next time.